Rory's in Cobham. Rory, what would you like to say? Good morning, James. Um, Hello, I just wanted to call up um, just to try and enlighten you. You keep kind of alluding to the fact that voting for Trump is voting for rape. No, is that, is that no, no, no. A, a man found by a court to have raped a woman. A, c- a civil court in a highly democratic area. But apart from that, you're assuming that the people Conv- that convicted voting... of multiple felonies. You're assuming that disowned these by his former vice president, sense. disowned by his national security adviser, called a fascist by his former chief of staff, and described by his former military chief as the most dangerous person ever. We are very short of time, so if you could do it quickly, I'd be very grateful. Yeah, I'll, well, yeah. If you let me speak, um, so you're assuming that these people have this information, James, but they, the, the people voting for Trump probably don't have this information. They're not aware of it. How can they not be aware of January the sixth? Because some of these people don't have passports, James. In, in Odessa, Texas, do you think those people have left the state? All they care about is the price of petrol. No, but if, if they know Donald That's Trump exists, if they know the result of the last election, they know that Donald Trump tried to overturn it, and they probably know that he lied about it. They saw the scenes of January the 6th. So it doesn't matter what the list is, Rory. You just pick one thing on it that you would previously have taken to be a deal breaker and you're right you're right to suggest that one circumstance in which it hang on uh, just just let me get this out before you tell me why i'm wrong one circumstance in which it wouldn't be a deal breaker would be that you didn't know about it but i think if you had to pick one thing that they definitely know about it would be january the 6th or or, or the grabbing women by the vagina okay but these people are working 12-hour shifts they haven't got time to Read The Guardian while having their cinnamon spice lattes. But that just makes you sound silly. You think only The Guardian reported on the January the 6th attempted coup. Only The Guardian and people who drink cinnamon... What was it? Say it again. A a, a cinnamon spice latte. Oh, yeah, that's very funny. Uh, Only people Um, who drink coffees like that are aware of the long charge sheets against Donald Trump. Uh, Because there's one one mystery you have to solve for me. He he talks about these things all the time, so they don't listen to Donald Trump either. These these people are working 12-hour days, James. You keep saying that, but but Donald Trump... Donald Trump talks about these things all the time. Are you telling me that the average Donald Trump voter is unaware of Donald Trump or the things that he says? Some of the things that he's been accused of... No, no, no. He he talks about these accusations all the time. He talks about the 2020 election all the time. So for your um, theory to work, what was it? Spiced cinnamon lattes? Exactly. Yeah, spiced cinnamon cinnamon lattes notwithstanding. For your theory to work, the people that you're patronising would have to be unaware of what Donald Trump talks about more than anything else. See, this is this is the crux of the problem. I'm not patronising them. You are. You, you just said I that they they're too busy to know anything. Themselves. They're too busy to know anything, and the only people that follow the news drink spiced cinnamon lattes. 